Hi, I'm Rob Suter. I'm the principal of Northridge Elementary School. I think it's super important to read, and it's also super important to behave. And that's why today we're going to read How to Behave and Why. Let's get started. This is really a book about how to have the most fun in living. It doesn't matter whether you're a boy or a girl, a man or a woman, the rules are all the same. How old we are isn't what counts. The two biggest questions to ask ourselves in life at any age are, are most of the people I know glad that I'm here? And am I glad that I'm here myself? Anyone who can honestly answer yes to those two questions most of the time has learned to behave in this world and to live a happy life. It doesn't matter whether you're a Chinese grandfather or an Eskimo mother or an American boy or girl going to school. You still have to get along well with other people and have most of them like you if you want to be happy. Ever since the days when men and women stopped living in caves, the good and decent people of the world have found out that there are certain ways we all have to behave if we want to live pleasantly. The good ways or the good rules for behaving have lasted a long time, so they must have something. No matter where you are or who you are, there are four main things that you have to do if you want to make good friends and keep them. You have to be honest, you have to be fair, you have to be strong, and you have to be wise. And there is no good in trying to fool yourself. All this isn't so easy. Honest, fair, strong, wise. Those are the four things you have to be. So let's take them apart slowly and find out why.